can guarantee you that. Oh, I had to break really hard. Do you need any help? My, my window's broken. <laughs> and in two years time, come back and you'll see it. And you're gonna have some apple trees for some homeless people. Spread love, spread kindness and help people today. Don't be as stupid as me and do what I did and buy some apple seeds off the internet. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. This one you're lucky, you're getting a little drive home vlog. I've got a perfect, in my car, I've literally got the perfect little vlogging camera position holder thing as long as you've got a little look 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 it doesn't doesn't fall <laughs> that is amazing I don't even know what I'm gonna do I might do a little bit more of a vlog I might do it do it with when I get home as well hey 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 <laughs> depends how much value I can give you right now obviously I can't play music I was gonna sing along I might have a little sing along who knows but I'll have to block out the music, unfortunately. Because I've actually get done for copyright. And I'm going to talk about the power of meditation. Now, as you can imagine, and as you can see, I have two very different sides. I have the meditation, the personal development, the personal growth, the psychology side of, my, of, of me, where all I want to do is help people, all I want to do is see what I can do to benefit people and their life. They're not putting salt on the road, are they? It's going to snow. No, it can't. See, look, the camera doesn't put, whoa, whoa, whoa. Then he went. Um, yeah, I have the psychology side, the side that makes me happy, makes me grow, and helps me help you. That is one side of me. I also have the other side, which is the bit crazy side, the one that likes to run around, do backflips, and do the splits, and throw bananas, and fruit ninja yanana, and everything like that. I believe in the power of having both. Now, things like meditation, things like mindfulness, they are what I dedicate all of my ability to adapt to my situations and allow me to become a mindful person. They allow me to become a, a happy, a grateful, um, and a calm person, while also having the times where I am just rushing around and doing crazy things because I have both sides of a personality. I believe in having both sides. The other side of me keeps me young at heart, it keeps me crazy, it keeps me doing things that I like to do, which is good. And if you've got both sides, you can really be, you can live a powerful life. So allow yourself to adapt, adapt to the situation. If something's going a bit crazy, it's okay to go a bit crazy. It's okay to start screaming and shouting. As long as you're not screaming and shouting at people. If you're just doing it to have a good time, perfect, do it. I, I, I applaud you, go for it. And sometimes you've just got to, you've just got to have a little sing. Meditation, mindfulness. Mindfulness is just being aware of who you are, being self-aware, and being aware of other people. So, understanding that if someone is screaming and shouting at you, or someone is bullying you, or someone is saying horrible things to you, it's being aware that no one truly happy, no one fully happy to their highest ability and happy with who they are and loving themselves would ever intentionally hurt you and i can guarantee you that oh i had to break really hard <laughs> but yeah no one truly truly happy would ever intentionally hurt you because what why would they want to hurt you they want to see people happy they want to see people smiling and things like that so just remember that and remember that if someone is hurting you, they're truly not happy, or they truly don't love themselves. I'm going back to save a lady. I saw she was broken down. Don't know. Max is coming to the rescue. Let's go and rescue someone who's broken down. <laughs> Camera went again. <laughs> All right, I've got to hold on to it. All right, is there anyone behind me? No, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, my window doesn't open. Do you need any help? My, my window's broken. <laughs> Hold on. Do you need any help? Sure. Okay. That's all right. Just be the light in someone's day. Sometimes you've got to just pull over and see if people need some help. You never know. 
my, my, my other window's broken, so I couldn't actually open it. I had to pull over, unfortunately. But there's no harm in being nice. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, my seatbelt's stuck in the door. Finley, hello. Oh, God. Hello. Oh, no, there's a... And There's Jack, a leaking hello. truck in front of me. Morning. Ah. Go, 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 go. Go. It's truck. This is a great thing that I learned with mindfulness was uh, road rage. Because I used to be very angry on the roads and start shouting and screaming at people if they were getting my way. And the way that I got around it was mindfulness and being aware of who I am, being aware of my surroundings, being aware of the putting it in perspective and saying, if someone is beeping and swearing at me, my immediate reaction is maybe they are having a very bad day. Maybe they just broke up with their boyfriend, their girlfriend. Uh, maybe they just lost lost a, a loved one or something like that. So you never know what's going on in someone else's day. So don't ever judge people by the way they're acting because you, you truly never know how, what's going on in their life. And their life could be going horribly wrong that day and you really do never know that. Usually on the way home, which I'm probably gonna do now actually, is listen to an audiobook because I like to learn every single day. I like to learn something new. I'm learning NLP. I'm learning loads of different things. And learning is the key to growth. And growth is the key to happiness. And if you want to be happy, constantly, continually grow. Learn something new. When I left school, I was like, I'm never going to have to pick up a pen again. Brilliant. Perfect. I've done more work ever since I left school, physically, than I ever did in school, in every year. And I've only been doing this for four years. When you love something, you enjoy doing it. And I genuinely enjoy learning about the topics I'm learning about. I didn't enjoy learning about history. I didn't enjoy learning about geography, um, about a different language at that time. Although now I'd like to speak another language, but at school I didn't enjoy it. But I can guarantee you, if you don't continue learning after school, you're essentially, they say, you'll be a fool. And if you wanna be successful in life, in whatever it is, you have to study that topic. Because they don't teach you a lot of things in school. They don't teach you a lot of things that they should teach you. I truly believe, like I still agree with school. School is needed in order to learn basic English, maths, even some subjects. If you wanna be an artist, you've gotta learn somewhere. You've gotta learn somewhere. If you wanna be, uh, you wanna, I don't know, travel the world, knowing geography is very beneficial probably. So there's little things that you do need. And there's a lot you can take from school. There's social side of it, you make new friends, things like that. But if you wanna, make a successful life you need to study outside of school you need to study on other things that you want to learn you want to you want to study new things study it just try it what's the worst that can happen you have a whole life ahead of you to do whatever you want to do in life don't waste it and then get to 10 years down the line and be like oh, i should just start it 10 years ago because a year from now you'll wish you would have started today today you probably wish you started a year from now whatever it is enjoy yourself I'm just going to do something as well. This is something that I want to get a lot of people to jump on. Now, I believe homeless people have it tough. Anyone believes that. This is really awkward. And not everyone has the ability to give to a homeless person, but we all have the ability to buy ourselves some apples, right? Now, don't be as stupid as me and do what I did and buy some apple seeds off the internet thinking that they were different to the seeds that are actually in apples. I'm so stupid for that. And yeah, deserve a slap in the, slap in the face for that one. <laughs> so I thought, right, I'll buy some online, end up spending £2.50 on some apple seeds. When I got them, I realized I could have just bought probably a pack of apples, eaten the apples and got the apple seeds. So there's a cheap way of doing it. But homeless people deserve some food. And rather than buying them a Greg's or something like that, giving them something of nutritional value. Now this is something that's it's not gonna work immediately. It's something that will take about two years for them to grow, but it's thinking ahead. Two years from now, you would have wished you started today. Or yeah, and two years ago, you would have wished you started, uh, or today, you wish you started two years ago. So just go and do something nice. It leaves a bit of legacy and film yourself doing it. It spreads the love, it spreads the awareness so that people that see homeless people, they can tell them and things like that. So go and plant some trees for people. Go, I've got apple seeds, whether you, something, depending on your weather, some some uh, places can't do apples, some places can't, obviously we can't do bananas in the UK, so I can plant a banana tree, but I think it's something that's just a nice thing to do. Maybe not now, but in the future you are helping them. And it's the thought behind it. It doesn't mean you have to do loads of crazy things and have to go and give loads of money to charity and go and give a homeless person a thousand pounds. It's literally just an apple tree. If it can give them nutritional value and it can help them, 
it shows that you care as well. Why not do it? Why not do it? A lot of people are saying, but the, the fruit might rot. Yes, but realistically, there's rubbish on the street. There's always rubbish on the street. So a bit of rotting apple isn't going to kill anyone. So just do something nice for people and find a way to spread the love, spread the kindness, especially someone who's homeless, because you've got, you've got to help people. You've got to help people in life. So I found a nice little lake. And I'm going to plant them around here. Let's help some homeless people. You've got to find a nice little little place and in two years time come back and you'll see it I promise you actually it's a nice place mm, no I don't like this bit let's continue walking it's a nice place though you've got a little lake you've got everything some bushes and you're gonna have some apple trees for some homeless people spread love spread kindness and help people today they might attack me <laughs> At least it'll make for good content. Tis the geese, tis the geese, tis the geese. So you find yourself a nice little patch of mud, you dig a little hole with a stone or stick. Ah, oh, so churn up the ground. So you get your apple seeds, then you churn up the ground so it looks nice and soft, and stick a couple of apple seeds in. Yeah, it's all of them. And you cover them up. Now we wait two years. And that's now what we've got to do, wait two years. Just so in two years time when the trees are ready. Oh God, it snapped. I forgot to film the outro of the video, but I hope this video has given you some ideas. And I hope you can join on this. I'd be really grateful if you could. And I'm sure many other homeless people would be very, very grateful. S make a movement, spread a message, impact, help. Be the light in someone's day. But I hope this video has inspired you and you've enjoyed it. Have an absolutely amazing day. Keep smiling, spreading love and spreading positivity.